the 1st of April and this is my first upload for um, April and the first upload that I'm sharing in the past few days. Um, basically, I'm going to keep sharing about this issue of being a victim of hate crime and the issue of violations that I'm experiencing. Um, as I've mentioned, as a spiritual light, light worker, my light body was destroyed over two years ago. And um, there have been attempts by individuals to claim that they have reformed and changed their ways, but have yet persisted in perpetrating a spiritual assault and very serious defamation. Um, this issue has involved, as I've mentioned, financial exploitation. Um, the relevant agencies have all been aware of what I've been experiencing and enduring without the support or services that I'm entitled to. Um, this issue is ongoing. Spiritual violations are very serious and what has already been perpetrated um, has been sinister to say the least. Uh, the hypocrisy and the contradiction of those people is absolutely outrageous. Um, as a humanitarian and as an individual that has been in many senses keeping the peace and as an individual educated enough to respect conflict resolution and mediation and such concepts required when such serious violations and offences are being perpetrated, um, I find it astonishing that these people um, are being facilitated and that the supports that I require are being withheld and that there is an obstruction of justice occurring. Um, I find it startling that there's people in this situation that are fully aware of the offences that have been perpetrated and haven't provided any measures, safeguards um, or assistance for a victim of crime or hate crime. Um, this issue of spiritual violations is only one aspect. The defamation of my character and reputation, as I keep mentioning, is even more serious by individuals that don't have any interaction with me and that don't have any position to be making any assumptions or assertions about me. Um, there are professionals that have no consent to even be discussing me and that have not been involved in any consultation with me and that yet have threatened uh, further offences and wrongdoings and violations. So this entire situation, um, since I gave birth and got married in 2015, is exacerbating. And as a victim that has shared publicly and that has shared with authorities what is required for my protection to be safeguarded while respecting my right to liberty and while safeguarding um, my reputation and my good name and my character, um, what I have endured without supports is uh, astonishing. People that have intruded and imposed and that have um, been brazen enough to think that they are in any way entitled to be intruding upon me and my personal life and uh, discussing and controlling matters that are of none of their concern are um, perpetrating not only obstructions of justice and perversions of justice, but also very serious human rights violations. So, as I've mentioned, this is ongoing. Um, the medical incompetence that I've experienced is pretty bad, but the uh, negligence of professionals that are attempting to even discredit medical or mental health mental ca uh, capacity and competence and even discrediting intellectual abilities um, without having any knowledge of me or my credentials or my educational experience just shows how unfounded a lot of these assumptions and defamatory claims are. So the other issue that I would like to broach in this um, 
entire upload is the issue of people um, not only defaming character and reputation and endangering innocent lives, but um, also those people that are speaking about people, individuals, other citizens that they don't know, that they haven't lived with, and that they are guilty of defaming. The issue that I take very serious concern um, with regard to is how um, these kind of culprits endangering and disrespecting civic liberties um, are in any way ever um, in any close proximity to the person they are defaming and the person they are perpetrating offences against. So the authorities um, and all relevant agencies that mightn't be fully aware of my positive contributions to society and that haven't acknowledged the damage done to my light body and the offences and wrongdoings that I've experienced, um, would you please mind contacting me? Because this situation is quite serious. Um, as a law-abiding citizen and as a professional educator and as a mother and a deserted wife that's experiencing this defamation and legal violations and this vendetta that is ongoing based on complete falsehoods and that is a second occurrence of these people's controversy and vendetta of hate crime in this community, second offence of their vendetta in a space of 10 years. So this is what I'm experiencing. And for those in a position to rectify this, you have a very serious responsibility because hate crime is very, very dangerous in any community where anyone would be thinking of espousing uh, civil liberties or civic society. So these people and their lies and falsehoods and false claims and obstructions of justice and spiritual violations and character assassinations are very, very dangerous, not just for me, but for all involved. So the individuals that have imposed and intruded in my private life since I got married in 2015 and thought it within their authority to uh, withhold from me what I'm entitled to financially, professionally, um, all aspects that they have hindered and that they've intruded upon and violated, um, are the authorities and politicians not conscious of the fact that that's actually detrimental to all citizens, not just this particular victim of crime or hate crime, whichever you want to consider it as. So um, this is the 1st of April. Um, it's serious what I'm experiencing. These people have no conscience and no remorse. They're perpetrating spiritual violence again. And uh, they're intruding and violating privacy and defaming my character. And um, this is just outrageous what's going on. So that's what's happening uh, for today. And uh, as a person that's recovering from medical incompetence and medical negligence, it doesn't say a lot about the individuals involved. And it doesn't give them much credibility to be um, stooping so low to such petty childhood, child playground tactics. <laughs> Um, when in circumstances as serious as this, um, human rights and conflict resolution and mediation and uh, such matters and aspects of progress are what are required. So those people that are unable and incapable of um, respecting the principles and morals of civic liberties and civic society um, are very huge concerns. Because after what I've experienced already in the past since being married in 2015, the damage that's been done to my livelihood, my health, my well-being, uh, my opportunities, my privacy, um, is absolutely horrendous for any woman to be experiencing. And as regards the theft of creative work, intellectual work, um, discrediting my uh, social abilities, uh, discrediting my characteristics, without knowing me, without having lived with me, defaming and totally convoluting falsehoods. This is how dangerous a situation a victim of crime has been placed in. And um, for authorities and politicians, I wonder, um, is, is, is that tolerable? 
Is that tor tolerable in 2020 for victims to be victimised and violated just because it's inconvenient to confront the offences and wrongdoings that these people are guilty of? So um, as a victim, I'd like it um, acknowledged and I'd like the matter confronted besides safeguarding culprits that are very, very guilty for damaging very innocent life and for disrespecting humanity. And um, for today, that's my upload. And I hope that before it's too late, before I have to experience any more damage and exploitation uh, by these people that don't know how to respect civil society, I'd appreciate it if the politicians would have some consideration as well as the authorities, because um, 28 human rights violations in a two-year space of time is uh, quite phenomenal. And uh, the spiritual assaults and the spiritual violence and um, people also, I might add, um, falsifying information and um, creating their own records is um, also quite dangerous. So um, if it's not too much to expect from those with any credibility, would it be of any possibility for them to confront this serious issue? Because as a law-abiding citizen, a humanitarian, as a teacher and a mother and a deserted wife, is there any conscience?